Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal Observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts, 
of the apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira, a worshiper of God, listened, and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in His people. The Lord takes delight in His people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with tremble and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in His people. Please all stand. Spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this, so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
Kung tayo po ay magbabiyahe o kaya magpapaalam sa ating pag-alis, usually ang ating ginagawa ay magsasalita tayo patungkol sa mga good things, no? mabubuting bagay para hindi masyadong bad vibes, no? yung separation. No? Kung tayo po ay maghahabilin, maghahabilin, gusto nating maalala tayo ng ating aalisan no? ng mga magagandang alaala, hindi yung mga nakakadepress no? ng mga bagay o kaya mga bad memories, no? yung mga good vibes lang no? para may baiwan tayo na maganda during our departure. As we approach the celebration of the Ascension no? by Sunday, no? the following coming Sunday, no? our gospel today appears to be the other way around. If you listen carefully sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon, the tone of Jesus' voice appears to be, you know, warnings, no? impending dangers, no? threats, and sufferings of the disciples na kanyang iiwanan that they are about to face kapag wala na siya. Ang sabi dito, I have told you this so that you will not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. Ito yung future ninyo. Tinatakot niya. Perhaps Jesus is preparing them to handle the bad things that will happen in the future in a way that would benefit them. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, siguro marahil totoo ito kung sinisoryoso natin ang pagiging disipulo niya. Kung talaga namang naging, nagiging tapat tayo sa mga alituntunin at mga utos ni Jesus. Ang pagiging totoong kristyano is not, you know, a bed of roses o kaya a walk in, a walk in the garden. No? Ang daming-daming mga trials, ang daming-daming mga pagsubok. Kung tutuusin, ito talaga ang totoong buhay natin bilang mga tagasunod niya. Hindi ito puro saya. No? Hindi nawawala ang krus at ang mga pagsubok. To consider that Christianity or to follow Jesus is very easy. Hindi pa tayo talaga nagmamature perhaps. Yet, we are told today to expect unpleasant experience that will happen to our lives if we truly, faithfully follow Him. Despite all these negatives, my dear brothers and sisters, things that will really happen to us, we are reminded to keep in mind the grace of Jesus and to keep in mind that we are not alone. Sinong kasama natin? The Helper, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, and one of His gifts is patience. One of His gifts is courage. That is why perhaps sa misang ito, ipagdasal ho natin na patuloy tayong maniwala at manampalataya sa biyaya ni Jesus, sa biyaya ng Diyos na muling nabuhay. We always beg the Helper no, to help us dahil inunahan na tayo ni Jesus ng mga mangyayari sa atin. Sinabihan na niya tayo, eto ang mangyayari sa inyo. Kung wala kang pananampalataya, matatakot ka talaga. Kung hindi buo ang iyong pag-unawa kung paano ka susunod sa Kanya, pwede kang magdalawang isip. Huwag ka nalang sumunod. 
pero hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Dahil meron siyang iniwan na katulong, ang Espiritu Santo. Nawa sa misang iyon, sa misang ito, no? may we follow Jesus more closely, even if it is difficult. May we know Him more clearly, even if bad things happen. So that we can love Him more dearly. Nahanda tayong suungin kahit anumang hamon, pagsubok ang ating haharapin sa buhay. Amen. Please stand. Many have witnessed to their faith by their lives, inspired by their example. Let us pray to God our Father and say to Him, Father, let us testify for you. Father, let us testify for you that the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us testify for you that the statesmen and politicians may become agents of Christ's truth through their honest way of living. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let us testify for you that the trials we experience each day may not discourage us, but that our faith may grow through them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us testify, testify for you, that the sick may be strong in their faith and persevering in their hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us testify, testify for you, that the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let us testify for you. Father, give us wisdom and courage through the Holy Spirit that we may be strong and faithful witnesses to your love in every circumstances of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying he has destroyed our deaths, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts you pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say, but the, only word, say the word, and, and my soul shall be, shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Ritchie, my journey, my God.